and we'll be watching the Patriots' creative quarterback. He's fifth in the NFL in passing yards entering this week. It's the Patriots and the Cowboys, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. What better way to start off the afternoon than whistle football, huh? It's time to get things started here on the NFL on EA Sports. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to, because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today, because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over them for big yardage, Maybe six points. The veneer of a new season is gone. Yes, we used veneer in a football game. We're in the middle of the schedule now. It's away here in week seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Well, here come the Cowboys for their opening drive. Bringing them out is a Mississippi State fourth-round pick in 2016 who's found considerable success in this league, Dak Prescott. Some tough luck last week for this quarterback, Kate. Two touchdowns, the one interception, and you just know the way it works. These coaches love to tell us they always think about the losses. They sting way more than the wins. It's the same thing with the quarterback. He's not thinking about the touchdowns. He's thinking about correcting that interception and knowing right here he's got to play some clean ball. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Here's Dak. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. The goal of that little drag run is to get him for at least a minimal game with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. He'll get that to his fullback complete. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. A five-yard gain on the play. And it'll be first down, Dallas. They're running the option, short side. And he's stopped after running it up across the 45 to the 46. They call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. the 46. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. Now, right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom! Connect on a big shot, and instantly you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. What a spot for a big play, huh, Brock? It has him well into the red zone now with first and ten. Toss now to the short side. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. to the air here. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Picked up by the Kobe Dean. And the Patriots will take over as he reports his first interception of our season. Well, they were thinking at least a field goal on the drive if they couldn't reach the end zone, right? But the interception keeps them from even getting three out of this possession. You really hope at the end of this game you don't look back and go, shoulda, woulda, coulda. If we could have gotten some points out of that drive early, we wouldn't be in the situation we are in now. So now it's the Patriots' turn to head out for the first time on offense. And we'll get a chance to see someone still in the early stages of their career, this third-year QB. A win is a win for him, whether he goes for 400 yards and five touchdowns, Kate, or maybe he just finds the end zone once, like last week. And being the team first guy he is, he'd be more than happy to end the game with just one touchdown pass, maybe even no touchdown passes. 
So long as it get the win in the end. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Option give here. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A gain of two follows up a gain of one. And now they're left with third and seven. They send one of the tight ends in motion right. To the air, third and long. He's throwing deep to the left side. That's complete inside the 35 yard line. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots don't need long to take a 6 0 lead. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period. Yeah. End of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Here's a return from the seven. Find some space. He's past the 30. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Cowboys and quarterback Dak Prescott ready to get back to work. And this is the type of play they need out of him into the later months. He's currently leading the league in passing touchdowns. First down, they'll run. And he drives that front backward on a gain of four. Now we'll take a moment to check out his numbers on the ground from a week ago. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. From the 34. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Third down, one yard to go. Tackles made just beyond midfield at the 48. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Back to throw. Here's Dak. And that one's incomplete. Could make that connection. And now it's second down. Shotgun snap. Looking to throw. It's caught. Warren. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. They go play action on first. Over the middle, Cox, complete pass. And he will score, touchdown Dallas! The Cowboys get it down to a single point. Well, no doubt about it, Brock, that was a route they worked on in practice, and it manifested in a touchdown when the downs counted here. And no doubt about it, Kate, you grew up watching and celebrating Jerry Rice running that exact <laughs> route, didn't you? Yes, sir. You know it. You know it. <laughs> he was so good at it. Every receiver could do it some of the time, but Jerry and the best of them, they do it all the time, just like that one right there. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up. The Cowboys all ready for the kickoff, and here we go once again. Here's a return from the seven. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. And with a half of football left to play, we can see already how close he is to that 100-yard mark in this game. Got to think that he stands a good chance of reaching it with plenty of time left to go. Back now, pressure on its way. He's got it, room to run. 
And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Kid, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. When one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion or a premium in this league. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Throwing on third and long. And down he goes. The Cowboy defense gets it done. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Sometimes I wish everybody could feel what that feels like. <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape, it can be just one heck of a deflating feeling. Not for that defense who puts a sack on the board. On to punt on fourth down, it's Bradley Pinion. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. Only needed once last week in the win, and he matches that total here. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. Here's a give up the middle. Broke through the tackle. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. It's going to be a gain of five on what will be the final play of our opening quarter. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Hopefully no shortage of excitement coming up in the second. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second quarter all set to begin, and it'll be Cowboys football. They've got second and five. And the receiver's going to take this one on the jet sweep. And he's brought down for a loss. Mm, 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 mm. That is teaching tape for a linebacker. Read, react, and finish. Throw on third down. Escapes the pocket. He's running for it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. Obviously, a defense wants to take away all the reads and prevent any kind of big throw for the first down. Fine. Well, this QB, he'll just lower his head and gash the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. They've got first down from the 31. Now deck to throw. Throw complete to Warren. I know that completion doesn't move the chains. I love it nonetheless. You make sure that defense is aware of every eligible player going out. And this time it was out of the backfield with the running back that shows he's adept at catching it as well. And oh, he got an interception! Well, that's it right there. That's the resilience in the mental toughness that every coach wants to see from his defense. Not a great spot for him. Backed up close enough that they're going to get shots taken in the end zone. But instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. The Patriots ready for their next series, led out on offense by their quarterback. And you always got to watch him when you're down near the red zone. He is sitting second right now among all NFL quarterbacks in rushing touchdowns. Option design here. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. There's absolutely nothing he could do in that situation, Kate. Defense broke through so quickly, they had him dead to rights soon after he got the ball in his hands. Throwing now from the gun. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And it'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. You know, those big guys are taught if you can't get to the quarterback, the next best thing is to get your big paw in the air and knock that ball away. 
Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And that fair catch corralled just beyond the 25-yard line. So no return on that punt. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. They're out and set, first and ten. Interception, last drive, doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. Tried to connect, but it winds up incomplete. A good defensive play breaks that one up. So second down coming up. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Only a yard for him that time, so now third and nine. Here's Prescott. To the sideline, and it is caught. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. It's a gain of 22. And it'll be first down, Dallas. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. They'll run here on first down. And he's stopped after getting this down to about the 44. First down play, and that's in five. It's going to be second and five. Prescott set to pass. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. He has the first over the middle, and this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Ball at the 33 for first down. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Good connect right side, it's incomplete. Just got a hand up on that to break it up. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Throwing it again here. Quick hitter complete. It's third and eight, need to get a chunk here. Here's Dak. It's taken in by Lamb. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Timeout taken by the Patriots. They're first to three. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. problem at all and that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage a dependable kicker man that is a coach's best friend saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently because from that far out no kick is a guarantee and that's where they'll begin the drive following the return the new england offense running out now they were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. They'll come out throwing. They dump it off to the back. And he'll get this up close to the 40 before going out. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. Back to pass on first and ten. Got a man over the middle, complete. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Looking right, and he finds him. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. He'll throw it yet again. 
Complete out to the right side. And they get this down to the 28. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's a New England first down. They are throwing it again. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And he nearly broke it for six. He steps out of the three-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. They've run this 12-yard hot route kid at the Combine, well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. And this throw, this is a big boy throw. It's a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. They'll throw it again. And the defender comes away with it. Deron Bland has it. I know exactly what the quarterback was envisioning when he let that one go. Touchdown, baby. Not long after, I know exactly what he was thinking. Oh, no! Give me that one back. Because the coverage baited him perfectly into that throw and even more so picked it off. The Cowboys taking over on offense. Not much time left before halftime. Holding just a field goal lead, probably going to see them play it close to the vest in the time we've got remaining. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. To throw his press gun. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to throw. Here's Dak. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's short of the first after a mild game. So now here's third and five. to the air here. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Now Dallas is going to call its second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Here's first and 10 from the 34. To throw, Prescott. Got Lamb and it's complete. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 39. That one is incomplete, and the clock stops with 18 seconds to go. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Probably looking at our final snap of the half here on first down. And they'll kneel this one down. So we've reached halftime. Only a field goal game so far. Now we'll send you across town to the Creative Village in our studios for Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, we'll get back to you and rock in a bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll get things started up at Ford Field in Detroit. And it's the Broncos who are out in front. Brian Robinson with a touchdown run. From there, we head down to Tennessee to check on the Titans at home in Nashville. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting Jags who are out in front. Christian Kirk, a touchdown reception. 
finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And this one going the visitor's way as the Texans have the lead in that one. It's C.J. Stroud with a couple of touchdown passes. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. The Cowboys all ready for the kickoff, and here we go once again. This return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Patriots back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And you can see he's done his part on offense this season, sitting second right now in the league in rushing touchdowns. To throw here on first down. Here's the throw on the out route, complete. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. Second and three now. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. From the 34. Rifles it and it's caught. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like the 40 yard line. First and 10 from the 41. Short side option here. He's running left. And he's going to go down right along midfield strike. Not that he needed to, but he'll always try and remind people that he's a threat running it in addition to slinging it all over the field. From midfield on second down. He finds the open man there, complete. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots take the lead right away in half number two. So that brought an important score here as they move out in front. This is the time of the game where your legs just get a little bit tired. But that was a determined looking drive right there. They were not going to be denied and they're able to score and take the lead. Elliott on now to attempt a point after. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Patriots kick team out there as they send it away. This return starts at the five. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Cowboys are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And as we can see here, it hasn't been the easiest game for him to operate out there, right? Just a number of rough moments for him. This defense able to pick him off twice to highlight their performance against him. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They go play action here. Got a man open. Complete. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack them only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Find an inside give to Warren. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Again with Warren. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Hey, range. Range is not an optional feature for middle linebackers in today's game. Uh -huh. It's a prerequisite for the job. And this guy definitely has it. Followed that play from the start, and he ended it with a loss. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Searches from the pocket. Short pass caught by his tight end. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, and you can make a play in the open field. Keep them short like that, 
I promise you some money to follow. And it's out of bounds without a whole lot of room for error. He hit it well. They're saying it's out at the four. The Patriots headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Here's the long back on the handoff. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the four-yard line. Simple dive up the middle. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. And he's brought down for a loss. Hey, these DNs love to get after the quarterback, but the most well-rounded of them are the guys who can anchor your run defense to mission accomplished. The Patriots have their punting unit out. It'll be Bradley Pinion doing the honors. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And he hauls it in right near the 40-yard line. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And that is where they'll start the next drive. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and 10. They're going play action. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. that midfield stripe after some solid running. A solid eight-yard gain there, and now they're going to have 32. Warren, once more. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. If only this defense could look like that on every play, Kate. They were angry, motivated, focused. And they took that anger out on him and this offense, forcing a fourth down. Cowboys setting out their punting unit. And they could really use a good one here. He's been hitting it well so far. This is another big one. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. To the air now on first and ten. They'll get this out right side. Complete. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. Excellent pick up to move the chains. 36 yards in the end. You know, Kate, you have to talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Throwing now on first down. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. They're now set for first and 10. They'll throw it. game they needed somebody to make that type of play now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult you know Kate their offense did its part and padded the lead now it's up to this defense to make this two score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line Elliot on now to attempt the point after that one right down the middle and they'll continue adding to their lead The Patriots 
Patriots kick team out there as they send it away. Kickoff taken at the three. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Just one quarter remaining in this one. The Cowboys have it, but some work to do in the final frame. They're trailing. They're out and set, first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. Oh, he lost the football! And the fumble recovery is made! Well, that didn't take long, Brock. One play, and they're back out there! Well, that's how a defense can make you awfully happy as an offensive player, especially when you screw it up in your fumble. The defense picks up that offense and puts them right back on the field. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. They came into this game on a five-game win streak and currently in control of what could be a six-straight victory. It's a new set of downs for them at the 32. Throwing now following the turnover. That won't be caught outright, it's incomplete. That one missed the mark. And that'll bring up second down. Putting the tight end in motion. Second and 10 now. Screen set up here. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler, gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. And that's going to bring up a tough decision here for them on fourth down. Brings up fourth and one. so fast that decision we talk about decisions in the passing game all the time but in these run options where you give it to the back or you keep it yourself that decision making is so critical well done to get the first that's complete to Jackson just a couple of yards here as he heads for the sideline eight yards to go well, let's see how they approach this second down brings up second Throwing now on play action. On target to Jackson. And this one doesn't go far. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots grow their lead off the turnover. Well, this machine has been firing on all cylinders this game, partner. And it continues firing as that lead grows yet again. And those who've tried to get in the way of that machine you're talking about, namely the defense, well, they've paid the price over and over and over again. Elliott on now to attempt a point after. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The Patriots kick team out there as they send it away. Kickoff taken at the three. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Offense headed back out there now for Dallas. 
Well, we all know at this point, turnovers the big problem for them in this game, Brock. And not surprisingly, the defense has capitalized on those mistakes on more than one occasion to their benefit. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can be tough to win football games in spite of, right? But over the test of time, turnovers are the number one thing that cost you games, especially yep. after that first one. Once there's blood in the water, you feel it with the defense. They get all over you, trying to force another turnover and another and another. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 32. He gets this one to Strange. And he'll be out of bounds right along the 40. The drive picks up here, first and 10. Throwing from the gun here. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. Short pass caught by his tight end. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. Working quickly here. Shotgun snap looking to throw. Fires over the middle, caught. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. He'll throw it yet again. Shakes himself free. It's caught, Warren. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. A dose of the hurry-up offense here. Working inside the red zone. And that's incomplete, but he might have done a little too much to cause that. Flag comes out, and this could be interference. Well, the pass interference might have prevented the touchdown there, but it gives this offense the yards and a great chance to punch it in anyway. And he is into the end zone. Frontel is touchdown. The Cowboys cut into the lead. It's a Dak Prescott touchdown. They broke out the design, run for him there. Coach just tells him, hey, Brock, hey, QB, do your thing, get a six. Yeah, and these offensive coaches love this play, and defensive coaches hate it, Kate, because it really gives you an extra hat, right, an extra number when your QB's got the athleticism, got the legs, got the instincts to go run it in for six. A defensive nightmare, an offensive touchdown. Thought he had a chance to block it, but he ends up wiping out the kicker instead. And that's going to award their offense a first down. Well, this one not quite over just yet. They've got three timeouts at their disposal, but really need to make the unexpected recovery here. And no luck. The Patriots are there to recover. Well, kind of feels like we're starting to get to that point, bro. Yeah, what point is that, Kate? <laughs> you know, the bold point of the game where you have to try something bold could end up becoming a play that finally sinks him out. Yeah, it's time for desperation. Without a defensive stop here, it's really hard to lay out the scenarios for much success. Every second matters now when you don't come up with that onside kick. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. And he drives it up past the 45. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. It's a pick up six. Brings up second and four. A tight end in motion now. We've reached the two-minute warning in Foxborough. Patriots nearing their sixth win this season. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Another carry for him. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. The defense calls a timeout. So that's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Back to the well again. And he's brought down after a short game. Now Dallas is going to call its second timeout. Second down now, seven to go.
give it to him again. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Final timeout taken by the Cowboys. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's gonna be on third down. Fakes the handoff, now to throw. Cowboys rush it in and they bring him down. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Even from the booth, Kate, I could hear it. I could hear that front seven telling the guys on the back end, hey, all I need is a couple seconds of lockdown from you guys, and I'm going to get to this QB. You promise that you deliver? And that's exactly what they did. Wasted no time in getting that sack. Wow, they must really trust in this guy's range. He's out for what would be a very long field goal. He better get all of this one. It's got a ways to go. It's no good. It had the leg, but his aim wide right. And the game stays at 11. Kid, any way you look at it, any script you were going to write for a comeback, it started with the field goal. They had to have that right there, and they don't. So you can rip up that script. Not sure there's enough time remaining to find a way to win. New set of downs for him from the 46. To throw. And he will go down. The Patriots make the play. Hurry up offense now as Todd runs down. Throwing now. Pressure's there. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So many coaches love third downs and practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know you've got to execute and convert on these third downs. And they get to him on fourth down. It's a sack and a turnover on down. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. And he takes a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. So this is a win for the Patriots. And their trip across the pond, a fruitful one, Brock, as they claim the victory over here in London.